Eating fears today, a series of bombings hit three different cities across Saudi Arabia. That follows a string of deadly ISIS attacks across the globe during the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. We get more tonight from NBC's Bill Neely. Minutes after a bomb attack outside the second holiest site in Islam, where the Prophet Muhammad is buried. This is Medina, policemen the targets, ISIS suspected, though no claim of responsibility. A symbolic blow to Saudi Arabia's rulers, one of three attacks there in a day. Earlier controlled explosions outside the American consulate in Jeddah, where a suicide bomber blew himself up after he was stopped by security. No Americans were hurt. In a third city, another bomber tried to kill Shia Muslims at a mosque. In neighboring Iraq over the weekend, carnage. It's Iraq's worst bombing for a decade, timed like the Saudi attacks for the end of the holy month of Ramadan, when ISIS urged its followers to strike hard. On Friday night in Bangladesh, three American university students were among 20 foreigners killed at a restaurant, the worst attack in that country's history. As ISIS loses ground in Iraq, it strikes back globally, hoping to win recruits with high-casualty, high-profile attacks. The ISIS assault over Ramadan spans three continents, from the Asian strike in Bangladesh to five attacks in the Mideast, from Turkey to Paris and another ISIS-inspired massacre in Orlando, nearly 400 dead in four weeks. This is a, an ISIS move to reassert itself, uh, to show its support base that's actually winning, not losing. And it now has, amid Baghdad's bloodshed, the deadliest attack it has ever staged. Bill Neely, NBC News, London.